Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a crew TV YouTuber that is doing something. And today I'm going to do a thing that I think is really fun and I feel like you think that too and I'm going to react to 10 of my older looks. So I have gone down in my Instagram feed and I start from the beginning. And I have been talking about my old <laughs> makeup looks and I think it's really fun to like look back on how I have evolved and just see um, my old looks because it feels often like you do a look and then you forget about it and you never do it again. So I think it's just fun to go back and look at my old looks. And I saw Annette's Makeup Corner and Nikki Raven do this. It was so fun and I wanted to do my own. And I don't know which part I'm in. Four? Five? I have no idea. Four, I think. I'm just going to scooch and then we're going to get started. And it's also fun to see like the looks or the palette that I've used because some of them are really old and I don't have them in my collection anymore. And um, this is a look from a collab that I did with Annette's Makeup Corner. We did a free look one palette collab. That was really fun. I love to see her video and we did it with a Paulina palette from Blush Tribe, which has been one of my absolute favorite palettes for a while. And here I did a Halo Eye. And recently, like this look and a couple of looks before, I have started to do my halos a little bit different. Here it is really like blocky and I've always loved to do halos. I don't think that I have always been that good, which isn't like that strange. But I think like this is too blocky and I think I would have blended more. Like you see today, I don't have that much shade on the outer corner it's almost a whole shimmer lid but i think i do really like this way to do halos but yeah i do like this but the blending and i feel like that that has been a problem for me and i guess for a lot of you that has been playing with makeup but yeah i do like it and i remember how fun this was and also the second look is also from my um, collab with Annette and this one I do love. I have done this look three times maybe, maybe four and not always with the same shades but this is, I just love it to take a really really light green and then fade it out to black or really dark green. I do love it. I have a red lip on. This look I do really really love and i think that i've shown one of these before that i did with some singles maybe and then when we were going to do this collab i wanted to do this kind of look again and i just love it the light light green in the paulina palette it is amazing and yeah i did love this look and i still do the next look is one of my looks that I did when I had the Zodiac Seria back in 2019. I do have the Zodiac palette from Colourpop and I did use... Yeah, so this is the Pies Aquarius look because it was the Aquarius that month. And the problem with this palette is that some of the colors are really, really bad. And I I don't like this look. I like blue and purple. I can't use all of the blues. So I can't use all of the purples. Maybe that isn't that strange. So I don't like this look. And what I can remember I did struggle with this. Because some of the shades in this palette. They are like awful. It feels like 12 different people did do a palette together. I don't like it. But... It's not a favorite look for me. Then we have another blush dry palette. I remember when like blush dry was big and so so popular and I did really really love blush dry. Every time they were releasing a new palette I was on their site ordering it and 
this was with the Hasina palette and I don't know. I don't know what the matte pink is doing in my crease and also I should have cut this half cut crease so much more like so much higher and so much longer to the outer corner of the eye it's not perfect I do think though that blue and pink is a nice combo but like I don't know about the lips no I don't like the lips but I like the combo of the eyes but not the execution and then we have this look. This was the third look that I did with Annette in that Paulina Free Look Swan Palette collab and I I don't like this look at all. The lips not good. Not good at all. The eyes have I tried to do like an inverted halo or what the hell have I done? I don't like it at all. I think that the colors go together, but to have the pink, and you know me, I do whatever halo I feel like, but this one, no, 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 no. I do not like this look. I hate the lip. It's an. It's not a good look. Not at all. I do. What I can remember, I think I did love this look when I did it, but now when I look back on it, I don't know what the hell I was doing, if I'm going to be honest. I don't like it at all. Then we maybe have three looks from another palette. Yes, we do. I did three looks one palette with the Dragon Child. And, okay, we can start with this green and gold look. Green and gold is one of my favorite combos also. Gold and purple is an amazing combo if you haven't tried it. And also gold and pink. But yeah, this look I did really, really like. I There's been a lot of struggles with me with this um, Dragon Child palette. But this look I did love. I did struggle a little bit with the gold. But I do like this look. I have nothing to complain about. But this look. And... It doesn't look that awful, maybe. It's not my best work, but all I can think about when I see this look, this is one of these looks that makes me feel maybe not bad, but it makes me feel not that happy about makeup. I did really struggle with uh, this palette, and uh, I have find a way that I can work with it, and I don't dislike it anymore but at this point I when I did this video it was the first time like I was talking maybe not bad about the brand but said some negative things about the palette which felt a little bit hard for me and I always think that you should say what you feel about the palette but it just felt a little bit a little bit hard to talk bad about the palette and uh, I did really struggle with this look I think it turned out okay but all I can think about when I see this look is how annoyed I was and how hard, hard it felt like to talk bad about this and this is the third look from uh, this free looks one palette with the dragon child and this one I did really like. Um, the reds and the darker shades in Dragon Child is really really good. And this gold shade is fantastic. I don't know though about my inner corner but other than that maybe should have blended a little bit more but other than that I do like this look and I don't have any bad memories with this look so this look is totally fine. Okay, this is going really fast. Maybe that is because I'm getting better and better doing makeup. I guess so. Here is <laughs> my first impression. I can't remember that I did anything like this with this palette. This was my first impression with the Tri palette. And uh, the Tri palette from UVS Place is one of my absolute favorite palettes from UVS Place. And also one of my 
it's a really good palette. It wasn't that long ago since I used it. I used it in December and it still is really, really good. And I also looking forward to use the Try palette because people did rave about this. People raved so much about it and it was like really unique when it came out, the Try palette. With all the greens and it had some orange and it, it is a really nice palette. It's not that special anymore as it was when it first came out. But I did love this look. I do still love the palette. I think I've loved all the looks that I've done with the Try palette. It is one of these palettes that um, just make me happy. And I only have good memories with that palette. And the last look that I'm going to talk about today is this one that I did do with the Dynasty palette from Certify. And here I did something that I love to do. I love to do two different eyes. Sometimes when I can't like decide which way I want to go when I'm doing a makeup look, I just do two different eyes. And I love to do that. If you have never tried, try it. Um, not that long ago. Maybe November, October or November, I did a look with the Sina 2 palette, I think it was. And I did the purple eye and the green eye. Loved it. Here, I'm also loving this. I don't know about the lipstick. I always thought like black lipstick is so cool. I, maybe I should just try a black lipstick now. Because I'm more used to darker lips now. I do prefer a darker lip most of the time. Uh, so maybe I should just try. I do have a black from Nabla. But yeah. This look I do really like it. I think as always. Or yeah. I should just have a kind of big bigger half cut crease. But other than that I do really like this look. And yeah. Doing halos and doing two different eyes is two things that I do really love when it comes to makeup. And I think it, you can you can be so creative with that. And I just love it. I really do like this look. I, but I can't remember. I think I had a lighter lip on first. Then I switched it to a black. I can't remember, but I think I did that. But yeah, I do like the look. Maybe not the lips, but. I think it's so fun. And do you remember Certify? Apparently they are still up and running. And I... I can't get how they can make it go round. Um, they were really big back when Blush Tribe was really big as well. Um, Blush Tribe and Certify. Um, if I could have wished, I think that I would rather keep Blush Tribe than Certify. But like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about Certify. They were on Beauty Bay for a while, I think. That was all 10 looks. And now it's just fun to like remembering how I felt about these looks. And I, I think you do evolve like all the time. Um, but I think I'm more like me now in this looks and I would love to keep doing these if you want to see them or maybe I just keep doing them because it's really fun. I don't know which date I'm on. How far do I have come? I am in March 2019. So yeah, I do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!